a vice chancellor professor odwayo clement adebo ye on behalf of the global affairs and sustainable development institute gasti of ocean state university african network of environmental humanities ane and rachel carson center for environment and society rcc of ludwig maximilian university munich germany the annual International Sustainable Development Dialogue with the theme Making and Unmaking Africa, Global Development and Environmental Humanities Holding physically and virtually at the Olagun Soye Oinola Auditorium of the University between Monday 26th and Wednesday 28th of June 2023 Keynote speakers are Professor Sandra Swartz, Professor of History, Stelling Board, University in South Africa Professor Samuel Agalino, Professor of History at the University of Ilorin and President of the Historical Society of Nigeria. Professor Ayo Omotayo, Director General, National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, Kuru Jos, Professor Usman Ta, Endowed Chair of Defense and Security Studies, and Director, Center for Defense Studies and Documentation, Nigeria Defense Academy, Chief Ifayemi Elebuibon, Araba of Abaye. For more information, kindly visit our website on www.unioshun.edu.ng. Announcer, Gafar Adebayo Shitu, Registrar.
I'm very sure we are going to have a good stay in Oshun State. Oshun State is also one of the peaceful states in the country. Here is a state that you can close your eyes to sleep at any point in time. You can even walk anywhere. There is nothing like it. Series of side attractions like culture. I'm very sure there were some people that visited uh, the Oshogu yesterday. I'm very sure you're going to enjoy yourself with our Oshogu. But there are still series of uh, places uh, that we have in Oshogu. We have in Ife. Uh, there are series of people that would have had series of information about Ife. Uh, they do hold that stand, the place where. Uh, uh, the, the place where you first of all wake up and see the light of the day. But there are still, still series of information about it there that uh, you will soon get to know. There are series of kids in the States that really understand the culture and I'm very sure you are going to enjoy your stay in Russian State. So I can announce Talia, please as soon as the guests are right here, uh, we're going to start the program properly. Our uh, Vice Chancellor Zhu is currently away, he's currently in Canada and he's going to be joining us actually. So please stay down and relax and I'm sure you're going to enjoy the conference. My name is Akimola Adesoji, the University of the Jewish Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to especially recognize the presence of the representative of the Vice Chancellor of Delta State University, Dr. Andy Thank you very much, everybody. I would like to bring uh, to the podium to the high table and recognize especially Professor Samuel Akarito, the President of the Historical Society of Nigeria. Thank you, sir. Also, Professor Greg Lickman from the University of Wisconsin, USA. I also appreciate Professor Greg Lickman. I also appreciate the University of Wisconsin, assisting with the University of Wisconsin. Thank you very much. Challenges. I welcome all keynote givers, 
lead speakers and paper presenters who have come from far and near. We feel honored to have the unique privilege to organize this heartbreaking conference in Nigeria and in Osho State University. I am confident that the outcome of this conference will help shape the future of environmental humanities in Africa. The conference would not have happened without the general support, general support of the Richard Carson Center for Environment and Society and the Rosalotten Board Sikton, South Africa. I thank both Christoph and Roland Unga for making this happen for Africa and environmental humanities in general. Many thanks to Professor Sophia Kalanzakos, President of the Richard Carson Center Society of Fellows. The collaborative project grant I received in 2020 from the committee headed by Sophia constitutes the genesis of this conference. I especially want to thank Sandra and Greg for their kind support and for staying the course since the idea of this conference was muted last year. I am deeply grateful. I must thank the Vice Chancellor, Professor Oduayo, Kenneth Adeboye, and management of Washington State University for their continued support for the Global Affairs and Sustainable Development Institute and the flourishing culture of academic excellence in Washington State University. I must not fail to mention that the third substantive vice chancellor of this university, Professor Lago Kupola, who was earlier on introduced to us, is the brain behind the founding of the Global Affairs and Sustainable Development Institute for this university. And he has continued to support us. We are grateful and we say thank you, sir. Once again, I want to welcome each and every one of you to this EPOCA conference. I look forward to the exciting conversations ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much for that uh, wonderful welcome remarks by the Director of our Global Affairs and Sustainable Development Institute, who has just given us a full brief about this international sustainable development dialogue. And uh, the which I would like to still say that it is one of the uniqueness of this university. We will join other universities to complain. We try to bring specialists, experts, down to the university to deliberate and provide solutions to issues. Can we please appreciate the director of the university? Moving forward, I would like to make a invite to the podium the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic Research, Innovation and Partnership, who is a here standing for the Vice Chancellor of this university. Professor Anthony Colau is an obvious appreciation as a counsel for the Vice Chancellor of the Good morning, everyone. Let me first express the regret of the Vice Chancellor, Professor who is on a way to be absent this morning because uh, they had to be away from the an international trip from the university. Uh, he had reached his year today and he prepared. Because it was one of the children today. But as fate will have it, some things we plan for, some things we don't plan for. He uh, knew his first daughter would graduate, but he didn't know the day to coincide with this period. So, because of that, he had to travel to Canada to be part of the ceremony which took place last Monday. And uh, he's still there now, he's not yet back. However, he has sent his address, uh, which I'm going to deliver on his behalf. Address delivered by 
to vice chancellor, Professor Wadman, the chairman of the board, at the opening ceremony of the Annual International Sustainable Development Dialogue, held on Monday, 26 June 2022, at the Olaf Usuyo in the laboratory of the Shukumen Campus. Deputy Vice Chancellor of Administration and Development, the register, uh, the boss of the university, and other principal officers of the university. Director Gazi, who is the host of today, Dr. John Apollo, who is listening today. The director of the Chelsea Center for Environment and Society, Professor Christoph March. Chief Ifayemi Lebuibon, our Professor of History 
and President of the Historical Society of Nigeria, Samuel Ahadeni. All the presenters and other participants to, to the modest campus of one of the fastest growing, developing, and most promising public universities in the whole of Africa. The 2023 International Sustainable Development Dialogue is jointly organized by our Global Affairs and Sustainable Development Institute in conjunction with ANE and RCC, a research center of Ludwig Maximilian University in Germany, as a, as a university that is poised for global relevance and recognition. We are exceedingly happy that our dream of this dialogue is now a reality and that the collaborative relationship between our students university and the foreign collaborators is mutual, mutually beneficial. It will interest you and this was just got to note that GAS was established just five years ago. As a matter of fact, GAS is the second in the whole world of centers of sustainable development. The first day the bar, the second day in our own Gazi, the third is the Columbia University in the United States. So we are really proud of As a university, that is first for global relevance and recognition, we are still happy that our dream of dialogue is not a reality and that the collaborative relationship between the nation and foreign collaborators is mutually beneficial. Gazi has served as an avenue for advanced multidisciplinary training and education in sustainable development practice for sub Saharan Africa through an integrated and multidisciplinary approach to sustainable development. We are proud to know that this institute has kept living up to its foundational expectations and objectives by strategically engaged, engaging in sustainable development related to graduate programs, organizing webinars on topical issues and collaborating with reputed institutions across the world. The success of this dialogue is a clear manifestation of this. We cannot applaud the effort of Gazi without appreciating the visionary leadership of the immediate past vice chancellor of this university, Professor Lavoe Ekuola, who conceived the idea of the institute, pursued it through all its approval stages, and ensured the institute got required academic administrative and infrastructural foundations in order to survive productively. The efforts of the director of the center cannot be appreciated too. Professor John Agbanifo is no doubt first and impactful leadership on the institute. Barely a fortnight ago, Professor Agbanifo with another scholar from the university and director of our office of research, Professor Luka Yaben, in collaboration with international collaborators, one a multi-million euro European Commission grant under the Erasmus Long Term for non-EU Africa grant for the project titled the, the European Union and Africa in the Multi-Crisis World. The two scholars are also currently hosting two Canadian students from the universities in the United States of America for different teaching and research related tasks. And this will be known for the next three months. It can then be seen that Professor Agonifo's quality of scholarship is impacting that very significantly. I must commend you for your entire effort to ensuring the consistent productivity, relevance, and recognition of the Institute. The theme of this year's ISDD is Making and Unmaking Africa, Global Development and Environmental Humanities. Environmental Humanities, also known as Ecological Humanities, it's an international area of research that draws on various environmental subdisciplines. It is geared towards employing humanistic questions about language, culture, value, ethics, and responsibility to address globally pressing environmental challenges. In the last two to three decades, there have been great concern about human and natural destructions of the ecosystem. The concerted efforts of scholars globally have led to the identification of key issues that have each constituted a body of language with growing scholarly interest, effort, and output arising from each. These issues include but are not limited to pollution, global warming, overpopulation, ocean acidification, 
deforestation, ozone layer depletion, and so on. It is in this contextualization of these issues to Africa and the exploration of the effect of this from Africa and the global environment that I'm sure this dialogue is hope to address. I am personally excited to know the area of highly resourceful scholars that have been invited as keynote speakers and representatives. Each of them is, is a foremost scholar in their chosen area of scholarship and is globally acknowledged. I have no doubt whatsoever that participants and all of us stand to further intellectually be enriched to our international guests. I am sure you are adapting fast to our environment. I am aware you have visited the palace of our traditional head of Oshogo Kingdom, the Akaja of Oshogo Land, His Royal Majesty of Ajimo, Orlando, the Holy Trinity, I am also aware that you have visited your shoe group to have the dignity of our tourism and cultural heritage. I want to assure you that you will enjoy the naturalness of the environment less of industrial but more agrarian cooperation. I am sure that this is will also afford you some opportunity of mixing with Nigerians. I hope having a taste of our traditional food and going back home in the Arabia that you will forever continue to share. I want to implore every participant to seize this three-day opportunity to step down your characteristic characteristic metropolitan life of the team and work with this trust, the metropolitan noise and the industrially polluted area. You can do this by moving around at your leisure period on our campus and by taking some rest in your cool hotel rooms after the session of each day. It's a high expectation that the various presentations and robust discussions will lead to policy decisions in form of community which all collaborating institutions can further work on. On our part, I assure you of our readiness to adopt any recommendation that will enhance the pursuit of our corporate mandate of teaching, research, and community service. We will also continue to open our doors for more collaborators and collaborations, geared towards producing and providing solutions to any identified global and local challenges. I commend the local organizing committee of this dialogue, which has led to complete planning and execution of all parts of the program. I appreciate our collaborating and coordinating partners once again, which is a successful dialogue and the safest of trips to the best respective places of our work. Thank you for listening. Please, if you enjoy the vice chancellor's remarks, can you please give him a round of applause? I would like to humbly invite to the podium once again the vice chancellor of this prestigious citizen of Lane to officially declare this conference open. I would just appreciate once again the presentation of all our listeners and possible. I'm the welcome Vice Chancellor to the Survival of Kenya and I would like to declare open the 2023 annual.